Welcome back. Uh, joining us now is In Focus Health correspondent Lenore Mudu. How are you, Lenore? I'm doing good, thank you. All right, so what do you have for us today? Well, it's about one shortage that can be very detrimental to human survival. Let's see that. As you know, oil shortages, uh, global warming, air pollution, all are of great concern to everyone. But there is one shortage water, clean, life sustaining water. In her documentary, Flow for the Love of Water, filmmaker Irina Salina delivers a wake-up call on the world's diminished water supply. Voice of America's Pelinopoulou has more. For the longest time, people have taken water for granted. Most people don't think about where their water comes from. They just turn on the tap and they expect it to be there. Uh, those days are ending. Peter Gleek is one of many experts in Irina Salina's documentary sounding the alarm about the dwindling water supply. With a skeleton crew and a shoestring budget, Salina traveled around the world to film shrinking rivers and lakes. In just over an hour, she presents stark pictures of massive droughts, heavily polluted rivers, poor rural communities living off contaminated water. The film shows pesticides and herbicides polluting waters, industrial waste seeping into rivers and lakes, international corporations privatizing massive bodies of water. Selena says once this water was available to everyone, now it is harvested and sold in markets for a price. Water is, is a fundamental human right, you know, so for the poorest of the poor, sure there should be a price to water when we live in rich cities. You know, we, we have to make sure that our water gets clean and that takes money, that takes energy. But on the other hand, you have another kind of population that doesn't make more than, you know, barely makes two dollars a week or a month, so what do you do with that? You just let them die? There is an urgency to the documentary. The planet is running out of water and fast. This notion that we'll have water forever is wrong. California's running out. It's got 20-some years of water. New Mexico's got 10, although they're building golf courses as fast as they can, so maybe they can whittle that down to five. Arizona, Florida, even the Great Lakes now, there's huge new demand. Is the film's alarmist tone accurate? Janet Raganathan is vice president for science and research at the World Resources Institute, an environmental research group in Washington, D.C. It, it can't be more urgent. The impacts of climate change have already started. Um, issues of water quality and, and, and water scarcity are very much there. Janet Raganathan says the major culprit is modern agriculture. 70% of water globally is used by the, the agricultural sector. Um, agriculture sector is also a major polluter of water, the major polluter of water, in terms of the excessive use of fertilizers, nitrogen and phosphate, that, uh, of which only a half make it to the plants. The rest of it runs off into waters, creating huge dead zones. But there is a silver lining. Janet Raganathan and the experts who voice their opinions in the film say the water crisis can be reversed. To do that, says Peter Gleek, local communities have to get active in controlling their water supply. In the 1800s and the 1700s, and going back even further in time, society lived on the resources that we had. We took water when we needed it from the rivers for irrigating small-scale agriculture. We captured rainfall and recharged our groundwater aquifers when we could. This sounds like a romantic notion, a reference to a bygone era. But Irina Salina's documentary makes a clear case. To survive, humankind has to respect and to protect nature, the very source of its existence. Penelope Pulu, VOA News. Certainly a very critical thing for those in Africa. Yes, uh, Africa and around the world, it's important to preserve the environment so we don't run out of water. Indeed. Water is life. It is life. And so we've got to do everything we can. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Lenore, for you that bet. report.